Palatina, obviously a character we're used to seeing from Gen. Perennial powerhouse at Xenia. Uh, at Xenia. <laughs> at Xeno here. But the Mewtwo. Curious to see what Vivi's plan is here. Oh, this is winner's quarters. All right, so we're out of pools here. We're in the top 24 now. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, this is the first time I'm seeing that Vivi play his Mewtwo in a while. I know like he kind of played him in the beginning, like when the game first came out, being like, what did they do to him? And then I haven't really seen him too much. I know that he was like trying to pick him up a little bit, but it's the first time I'm seeing him in bracket, uh, at least today. Do you know if it's just for this matchup? Um, no, I, I know that when, like he also has like a pocket Incineroar, so like I know that just anytime BB like is like struggling in any sort of matchup, he'll like do a rotation through his characters. So like I could see this as being like some from some experimentation just to see how he does. So he has more data for it. Experimentations uh, early on in this match, not looking too good. Only 46% on Ken's first stock here. He's going to be able to rack up a little bit more damage. Early percentage Palatina combos. This is where Palatina really strides. So far, the Mewtwo having a hard time being able to get in. He reads a get up attack, and he's got him off stage without a jump here. Let's see what he does. He lets him get back to the stage. Let's see if he can take advantage of this opportunity. No, back to center stage here. Jen hanging out by the edge, grab there on the platform. Okay, both characters just trying, hanging out in center stage, trying to feel each other out a little bit here. Back throw, not gonna kill quite yet. Let's see what he does with the explosive flame. You see that a lot? Oh, I can't believe that up smash didn't kill. That up smash, every time I see it happen on on the ledge, it, it just lasts longer and has a wider hitbox than I've seen it do before. But, uh, BD, oh, sorry, I just, ooh. Forgive me there. Back to the match. Back to VV. Hit him up with that F tilt, but the down throw into turnaround backer. That is the Palatina special right there. Jen there with a full two stocks to one lead, but here comes VV. Racking up a little bit of damage, 40% with the use of the neutral air. Jen just doing a good job of remaining patient thus far, hanging out on the platforms, not letting VV, not giving VV an opportunity to really get in, be aggressive, really just utilizing the opportunities he's been given, remaining patient, neutral airing when he has to, already racked up to 53.9%. The neutral air, oh, opting to go for up air instead of turn around back air. Interesting use of the explosive flame there. Good DI for VV to avoid the back air. Down tilt into. Forward. Whoa! I was I was about to say, Jen, really? What are you doing there? You got to get back to the ledge. Obviously, a better Smash player than what I would have expected. That was a beautiful play right there by Jen. I can't believe he caught him out of that. Caught Vivi pressing a button. I think Vivi just kind of panicked there. I, I don't think he panicked, but just like kind of throwing out moves, just kind of not worried about it. Not really expecting that explosive flame to come out. But Jen, I'm gonna throw that out and see what happens. Good stuff right there by Jen. I am very thirsty right now. It is quite humid in here. I got you. <laughs> um. <laughs> we are at Zeno. It is a Wednesday night in New York City. I love this city so much. Did I mention that before? Did I mention that before? I freaking love this city. I freaking love this video game. Two more competitors that love this video game and one more competitor that is going back to his bread and butter. What he used to get him here to winner's quarters going to go back to the Lucario. I'm going to go to Yoshi's story here. This will work out uh, definitely for Lucario on paper. He's going to get want to get those early kills. It's where he was struggling with the Mewtwo. Okay, here we go again. Beautiful. Again, racking up a lot of hits, but not necessarily a ton of damage. He's going to need to rack up a little bit more damage of his own to be able to really utilize this character, obviously. And Jen just doing a good job, just kind of doing what he did. Game one, remaining patient, hanging out on the platforms. Not really pressing too many buttons, he has to, trying to find his opportunity, get dash tag into a uh, forward air, dash tag into an up air. He's going to look for another one here. And Jen, he'll get these little tiny hits and then go back to center stage. Okay, tried to get the two frame again with the up smash. VB able to get back to center stage though. Good counter on the up air there. Got him off stage again. That explosive play just barely missing. But he's got him off stage again. Another down tilt. No, good recovery there. Use of the walkling. 
Something that I did not know that Lucario had, honestly. Okay, let's see. BB, if he can utilize this opportunity right here. We try. Occasionally, we will see Lucario players go for that little smash ball. That smash ball. That little um, neutral beat ball into an up smash. He went for it there, but not expecting Jen to come up with an aggressive option, and he is able to kill with the up air there. 109, he tried to do it there, tried to neutral beat in the up smash counter, will not be able to kill. And unfortunate here for Lucario, he's back down to this early percentage here. This is really working out in Jen's favor here, despite Jen being at such high percentage here. Lucario almost wishes he had more damage here, but another neutral air able to get him off stage again. Can another counter that just doesn't work out for Vivi. That backer will be able to kill though. 58.2% of extra credit here on this Lucario. Vivi we see hanging out on the platforms a little bit more. He is grounded now, but... Trying to get Jen to come in and make the mistake. One more up air. And again, another uh, interesting explosive flame there. But after what we saw from the last game, I'm not going to question any of what Jen decides to do anymore. Does here ledge trap. No, able to get back to center stage. It is Vivi, but he's missing with that up air there. Oh, he just barely misses with the ball. The neutral, but he expected him to jump. We're going to see... Not a ton of down tilts coming out. Occasionally, not occasionally, very often. We will see Palatinas go for these go for these down tilts to try to catch their opponents with the two frame, but we see Vivi all of a sudden to bring it back a little bit. He's at that percentage where he might be able to get something cooking here. 147, not quite full range for Lucario, but he catches him jumping. Beautiful job by Jen to avoid the situation at hand and get that kill on Vivi. And now Jen again in a very, very solid position, much like he was in that last stock. Oh, beautiful use of the down air off of that platform right there. Able to string together a lot more damage, 49% here. And Vivi really needs to get this kill. Let's see what he does with the ledge trap here. No, able to get back to the center stage. No way, is he gonna be able to string into the up air there? I thought he might have been able to. Another good use of the explosive flame. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's what Vivi has been trying to get this whole set. Might be a too little too late here, but let's see if he can rack up. This is dangerous situation right here with Lucario. 108 here, he might be able to get an early kill here. Jen needs to be careful. Back throw, not gonna kill quite yet. Oh, he catches him with the up B. This is far from over. Vivi still at center stage. He knows one forward air will probably take it on a smaller stage like Lochi. Story dash tech not able to kill yet either. He's able to air dodge through the up air. Neutral air not going to take it either, but the explosive flame will. Another beautiful edge guard right there by Jen. Catching Vivi in a position. Vivi. That was a really interesting set because obviously Lucario is. is such a dangerous character at those higher percentages. Vivi really doing a good job. You'll see a lot of Lucario players, when they get to that higher percentage, they'll try to go in and try to get that kill as quickly as possible. Vivi did a good job of mixing up his options and keeping Jen guessing, but Jen just had the right option at the right time at every single moment. Um, Vivi really not able to get on the right foot at the right time. So Jen will move on to winner semis. A good, a good fight there by Vivi.